Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Neo. I'm the Mysterious JG, and uh, we're continuing uh, to delve deeper and deeper into the abyss in the hopes of getting even more powered up uh, items when we leave. It's a trick trap. They just keep suckering you in. You gotta figure out when you're gonna leave. Well, I figure if I can beat two more levels, everything we've gotten that was defiled will be as powered up as it can be because it can only go up to level up to three levels worth of it. So if I can get past this and one more boss, I think we're gonna call it a run through the abyss. So let's get all the debuffs we can on him, including poison. For as long as possible. Let's try to... Oh, I'll just cheese Tadakatsu completely if I can. I don't have a problem with that. He's Tadakatsu! That's what he deserves for all that patent trolling he's been doing. <laughs> That's a nonsensical reference, which only makes sense if you've seen... All the way through, mind you, and paid, like, attention to every single freaking video. Me and Bobo playing through Samurai Warriors Empires 2. Which is a freaking fun game. Um, but, like, just random nonsense from that was the idea that Tadakatsu is a patent troll. <laughs> yes, Tadakatsu! So now, if we examine our items, other things are popping up defiled. Which is why it really is that this thing that could just go on forever. But our uh, Kusari Gama is as defiled as it's going to get, by my understanding. Like, I don't think it'll get more defiled than this. Up to a maximum of three. So now, in order to get the most defiled possible pants, in order to poop on our pants to the maximum extent, we'll want to... Um, Oh, we got poison buildup. Gradually increases the cumulative effect of poison-based status ailments when in the crucible. Well, I don't know how much I care about that. I mean, unless I get poisoned. But then again, that might mean that this is a poison-type Pokemon we'll be fighting. Just for the hell of it, let's go ahead and try to clear out that status effect before we continue on. Although I'm having more danger in the Plains of Eternity and etc., than I have so far against the bosses. Where I just go ball this to the wall and use every item. And so far, I've been feeling fairly safe. Ah, this is going to be one of those. Where as soon as I go touch this guy, a million monsters are going to appear. And I'm in a very enclosed space as far as dealing with them goes. They don't like. Seems like a pretty cool space right now. Maybe this is, um, maybe this is easy mode and I'm really not gonna have to deal with much of anything here. It's just all this is like my reward for having completed all these other missions. But I feel like somebody's going to show up and try to kill me uh, when I go talk to the Gadama. Yeah, nobody's showed up so far. Maybe this is just like a, a loot room. They're like, good for you, man, coming here. Fighting your way here. Being fearless enough to not just uh, skip this and challenge the boss. Ronin armor. Yeah, we're getting a lot of pretty funky armor here. This is your reward for destroying all the stuff in this room.
maybe you have to leave at least one treasure chest unopened, and if you open them all, it's considered being greedy, and some kind of super monster shows up to kill you. I'm in danger of not actually being able to hold all this stuff. Oh, I'm glad I saw this place. This is kind of a neat uh, idea for a room. The last great general's Sunate. You are overburdened. I had a sound glitch, which is making me worry about my recording here. I'm actually going to take a second to um, check my recording. Recording does still seem to be going, although the sync is weird. So I think I will quit this recording. Stitch this together, join you guys in a moment. Hey folks, uh, so yeah, my computer basically kind of crashed a bit there, but, um, so there'll definitely be some weird sound goofiness going on at the end of that video, uh, but not the end of the video, the, about six some minutes in, uh, so things should be back to normal now, we're gonna finish out this video where we just found, it seems like a pretty simple, we found some cool loots, this just seems to be like a little bonus area with no... An inhabited Kadama bull. Or there's nothing to kill you, just uh just goodness and fun and happiness. So we'll wrap this one up. And um if we can beat one more boss, then we've got um fully defiled Kusarigama and fully defiled pants, and what more could you want? Level 4 of 999 levels. Which are all incredibly repetitive. At least as far as this overall design layout. Okay, you're a kind of old hat now. There's no particular reason to... Take chances with you. Might as well just uh, take you on as safely as possible. No reason not to. And there we are. Now I should have some fully defiled stuff. Got some more uh, droplets of decay. Which means if I ever decide I want to play with this place anymore, I'm better suited to do so. But I'm actually going to back out now and see what kind of cool stuff I got. Because you get more and more decayed items, but I mean, I don't care about some of the ones I'm getting. They're from like sets I don't care about, whatever. But if I take them out of this zone, they should become usable. And the ones that are leveled up to level 3 decay... Did I have to go one deeper? Maybe I did. With the enemy deep in the abyss defeated, I returned to the human world. However, as I left, I found myself sensing an even greater threat. The depths call out to me, and I know that I will revisit that strange land once again. <laughs> Maybe not. To find what secrets lie even deeper within its mysterious confluence. So we got our defiled equipment back. So now... We can check it out and see what it is. So this had been defiled... Uh, no, wait, this is our actual current equipment. The This one here is even more powerful. It's got consecutive attacks A, key reduction, doesn't add water. 
final blow damage. Skill key damage, increased damage, consecutive hits A. I guess this is better. Then with our ninja pants. This, um, let's see, we've got auto recovery on these. This is giving us evasion key usage, better amber and gold damage from. I think I like this, but I think the ones that we def uh, undefiled are really. Not even that interested to tell you the truth. But what you gonna do? What you gonna do? So all items, this was defiled and we undefiled it and I still don't think I care. Yeah, so that didn't really do that much to the stats of any of these. To the point where I care about them, so. Kishi units armor. Where are these armor? I guess if I ever decide to. Cosplay is Tadakatsu again. Tensions of a gallant, gallant warrior, whatever. Champions of Tofu? No, Tosa. Her, her. So there you go. We did a couple of levels worth of the abyss. You kind of see how it works. I'm kind of like, meh. I'm only holding on to, at this point, I'm only holding on to green stuff from from sets. This is not from a set. Got a lot of Angie's Tonfa. Still feel like I'm holding out of too much stuff. This level 150 plus 4 is getting on my nerves. It's like, why are you even saying 150 is like the root, the ceiling if it's not? I think I care what this one does. There's just so many freaking items in this game. You really cannot actually go through them all carefully. Total toughness. Got to get tough. Yo, Joe. Got a bunch of elixirs, which don't count for anything in... Uh, that special place. I've got lower item carrying capacity than I have had before. Which kind of sucks. I've only got about half of the video done. Um. Six more to find, and that's it for the whole game. Six more uh, Kadama, and they're all located in The Last Samurai. Um, I didn't intend to start a new mission, but the timing on uh, the Abyss kind of made it so. I mean, without going to a higher difficulty level. I 
I could go to a high difficulty level and do a mission for funsies. How come my mission achievement rate only be half? Well, whatever. Um. Yeah, I kind of want to start a, a fresh video with this next one, so maybe I'll just do something quick here. Invitation from the Warrior of the West. Oh, this is the higher difficulty level. Never mind. I just kind of wanted to do something quick. Remember how, this, how hard this one was a long time ago? I could just do, um, do this mission real fast. Beat up the Warrior of the West. Um, on the next highest difficulty level, but with lots and lots and lots of cool loots at my disposal to make it significantly easier than it was before. Should be easier anyway. Yeah, because this one, I, I went through this mission a lot of times trying to figure out how to beat it, but I've got all sorts of cheese ball tactics I wasn't using last time that should make this pretty easy. So I can poison him. There we go. He is not finished yet. It will be in a minute. Dang. Still pain in the ass. There you go. So, using cheese tactics, you can see how the battles that used to be really difficult are not that difficult anymore. To the point where I'm no longer honorable. Now I'm going to go... Like a big chitty... Cheese chee jerk. Such skill, such cheese. In your blade, I have glimpsed your soul. The soul of a guy who uses cheap tactics. Slow clap. Except <laughs> I'm now an almighty douchebag. Alright, so I don't know how much goofing around I want to do. This this video, I kind of... This is going to be a weird video because it was me coming out of the abyss, being really unimpressed with the items I got, but not quite prepared to go into the final plot mission lap yet. I wanted to do that. I want that to be its own video. Masterfully done. Genjiro is still alive in this timeline, so I'm significantly happier than I was before. So now I could go for, um, I think I've got a mission here that's like, Marubashi. Nah, I don't want to do a bunch of, uh, Champion of the East is more like it. My mind was clouded by the workings of the one they call Kelly, but I still recall the joy of trading blows with you in our duel. So this would be a one-on-one -on -one match. One-on-one -on -one with the human boss, um... Thanks to the magical cheating tactic of uh, Spirit Talisman, uh, Wind Power, Trip em Up is not too bad. Uh, the two-on-one -on -one battle is obviously a lot more challenging. So if I get up to like 25 minutes or so just cheesing these, you know, a couple of these battles for fun, I will do so. Let's 
keep him poisoned as long as possible. Wow, he's really not... Even with all that poison damage. Oh yeah, he just, he just threw off his poison damage. Didn't even give a crap. Oh no, he's still taking poison damage. It's weird. Can't be, he can't be knocked over in this time. Yeah, he had a uh, superpowers activated, so he couldn't be tripped. I had to, I had to cheese him slightly differently from the way I planned to cheese him. Wow! Look at how freaking tall this guy is. I love it. No, I will bow to you because A, you didn't bow to me, and B, <laughs> you, um, you're like eight feet tall. <laughs> if I don't bow to him, he's gonna give you a choke slam. <laughs> Alright. So, this has been a um, weird video. I never imagined I would meet a rebel as worthy as you at my age. Only recently lamented not only that Lord Munishige could stand against me. I, only, only recently I was lamenting that only Lord Munishige could stand against me. A long life has its rewards. Come, let us repeat this another time. You are always welcome to challenge me. Good to know, buddy. But I think I'm going to actually jump, hop back down to a lower difficulty level. Do a tiny bit of inventory management. And call this a slightly short video. Uh, cobbled together from bits because of weirdness that happened with my computer in the last video. Oh, you know what? I actually need to go to the shrine and give them some smithing texts anyway. Yes, I don't know if I can help you or anything. Apparently I already gave them my smithing texts. Maybe I gotta go to Forge before that happens. Hand it over to Smithing Text. So I can now have them make uh, Isurugi. Think about this is the forged weapons always seem to suck. I can get Head of the Ega Ninja stuff, though. I don't know what new thing I can do here, but. Whatever, I don't care about this anymore. I will instead go um, offer up some stuff over here. Tombo and Kiri, that could be better than what I had. Yeah, I got green versions of their Wapits. Otherwise, not a whole lot of point to all this. I said I was going to try to make it up to... Um, 25 minutes, I I guess I got close. Alright, I'm calling it a video here, so this one is just a little on the short side. Uh, when we come back next time, uh, I think I've done all I'm going to bother to do with the Abyss, to tell you the truth. Uh, defiling those items didn't really make them that, that exciting to me. Maybe even higher-end items defiled even more. I don't know. Um, but instead, I'm calling it a video, and when we come back, we're going to do the final main story mission. At least we'll start it. We probably won't finish in one video, obviously. Uh, but yeah, we're kind of... The Abyss was going to be the thing I did last, but I figured I would show it off before we ended the story story. So next time, we'll start ending the story. See you then.